So day number one in the studio. It's pretty much empty, as before. However, I've decided where the rooms will go. So, that's my friend Carlo, by the way. Hi, Carlo. Yeah. He, he's my best friend, you know, he's been helping me for, for a long time. My main room, seven meters across, double walls, like a room in a room. Two more rooms here, mixing room, and this is gonna be like another production studio. Preliminary work, you know, we're roughly deciding how the space will look like. Red means door, orange means a window. Window, window, door, window, window, door. Makes sense, Carlo, doesn't it? Perfect. Lots of lights. Beautiful. Hey. How you doing? Good. Good How to see you. Even it out? Well, I've done some basic work. Waiting for you to tell me if you think it's right or if it's wrong. At least we have a starting point. Yeah. So, if you're talking about two walls here, Mm -hmm. So you put one up, you screw the board onto that, Yep. <clears throat> onto that, and you put this one up, there's no way you can get a board on that side because, okay. because it's too near. So then you screw the board on there so that you can put foam in there, mm -hmm. and you can put foam, foam in there, there and that, uh, that's it. What I'm saying is we use a C, C stud. Mm -hmm. Which begin. is metal, right? Yeah, and it, it comes like this with a little hook there that's how it goes mm -hmm. all the way down so you assemble it all so when they when you put the, the foam in there it grips into it right yeah so it's just stands so right and this would be rock wall basically yeah yeah Do you watch it here? Oh yeah, Here, and right now, I'm setting this up. Voila! <laughs> This is the acoustic plasterboard. I've selected the 15 millimeters because it's slightly heavier and it should offer a little bit more mass and hopefully that will prevent the sound from going out. These clearly are like very important walls we cannot cut out. We're gonna build around it because if the sound hits this wall, it will transmit to the rest of the building, which is exactly what we want to avoid. 12 seconds later. Stuff is starting to turn up. What have we got here? Oh yeah, baby! I need a knife. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> this is the CCTV system. 16 cameras, it records continuously. These are the wires. These are the cameras. Oh man, I'm so excited. It's like a bat cave. So the other box is like more the same. End of the unboxing. Six and a half hours later. It's already taking shape. See, this is gonna be wall number one and wall number two. There will be air gap here. And then there will be insulation material right here on each side. And it pretty much already looks like a room if you look at it from here. <laughs> It's so cool. That's a lot of material. We can do this by hand. Ooh. 
So this is going quite well and quite fast. My boys here are really, really good. So now we have the two rooms. Look at this. You know, I've, I've made the wall slightly slanted so that, you know, you get a little bit less reflection. <laughs> I hope I did it right. Anyway, I'm gonna have some professionals to come around and, you know, help me. Wait, I winked there. <laughs> help me do this correctly. Kitchen. Let's talk food for a second, because, you know, this place is great, but I need to prepare some, you know, some microwave, some tea, some coffee. So I'm thinking of having a little kitchen that would look like something like this. And then the fruit you know. basket with bananas, with peaches. We were thinking of uh, doing it here. So basically, at the end of this corridor, there is this sort of kitchenette area. The kitchen basically would go like this. It's just a matter of finding the right kitchen unit. I'm just gonna look for one. Let's go. Yeah, that's a bit of overkill. <laughs> I am after a small kitchen unit, you know, 1 meter 20 by 600 maximum. Something like this. Oh, okay. This, this oh, has right. got all of the different color units we do. Okay. Um, in gloss finishes, matte finishes, with or without a handle. Oh my word, this is going to be complicated. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Is it okay if I take this home? All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Bye. Oh wait, my glasses. Mm, back to the studio. Beautiful sunny day. We have the answer in this box. We've made some significant progress because all the structure here is finished for all the rooms. It's a good idea to start talking about sound treatment. As you well know, I use my red GIK Acoustics Alpha series panels. And of course, you know, this will be a lot bigger. So I thought, why not call GIK Acoustics directly? So I'm gonna call them right now on Zoom. Yeah! Hey! Hello, my man, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, thanks, and you? Awesome! Check out the studio! Yeah, yeah, that, that looks great! Bang, alright! So basically, all right. this, is, this is the studio. I have uh, placed the studs, and I've also used this uh, insulation material, which is uh, some kind mm -hmm. of ne neoprene, you see? Yeah, yeah. I've seen that before, yeah. It's basically a material that allows for the studs to float a little bit. What are your thoughts in terms of panels that I should use once these rooms are finished? How, how are you going to sit in this, in this big control room to start with? Well, um, it's not going to be like a typical recording studio with control room and recording room. What's going to happen is that this okay. big room, basically it's going to be my main room, main production room, so I'm going to do both recording and performing and all of that. The most significant room will be this, which is the mixing room. What kind of panels do you, do you recommend I use, especially for my mixing room? For your mixing room, I would um, probably use 244 panels for your side walls and your ceiling to make sure you absorb a wide range of frequencies cover the early reflection points as we call them then we can use alpha base traps or alpha panels for the back wall you know the ones with the wooden uh, front plates uh, thicker ones for the back wall maybe some thinner ones on on you know your rear side walls just to give it a bit of ambience and a bit of, of liveliness to the room and obviously you will need some corner trapping corner trapping correct now in, in my particular case my corners are not exactly rectangle, is that going to be a problem? Right. No, not necessarily. I mean, we, we will have to look at them um, and see if we rather put a, a, like a thick panel in the corner, straddling it a little bit, or if you want to use... Um, we have a corner base trap called the soffit. It's a big square corner base trap. You could freely place it, you know. You don't have to put it right into the corner for it to work, yeah. So, yeah, the soffit base traps are a really good idea for... Um, any room where you maybe can't fit them right into the corner because our tri traps or the the alpha base traps they they look better if you get them right into the corner but the the soffit can't stand freely basically so 
I and they are also very effective. So I, I use I use them a lot when the corners are a bit tricky and not uh, as symmetrical as as in other places. Right. How about the ceilings? Well, I, I, I like uh, to use absorbers on the ceiling rather than any diffusion. The, the question is the ceiling height. If you have a bit of ceiling height, you don't need thick panels. If, if it's a lower ceiling, I would probably work with something like the 244, which is a bit thicker and goes lower in, in absorption. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my ceilings are 2 meters 84, but of course, you know, we will, yeah. we're building also room in a room. So... Yeah. We will lose at least 20 or 30 centimeters or something like that. Right. In that case, I would use 244s. Anything under 2.7 meters, I usually like to use the 244 because it just gives you a better absorption. Fantastic. At some point, maybe you can come and take a look yeah. and, uh, and then we can lay down a plan. That would be great. Yeah, definitely. Would love to. Fantastic. All right. Lucas, right. listen, thank you so much. Of course, uh, I invite everyone on the channel to check out the GIK Acoustics website. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Their products are really cool. They look awesome and they, they're really well functional. So uh, thank you so much, Lucas. You're welcome. Anytime. All right. You have a great day. And you. Lo lots of success. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What an amazing day today. This is like authentic, powerful excitement and amazing feelings that I, that I am experiencing. And I just wish, you know, everyone was happy as I am. I'm truly blessed. So this is a beautiful walk on the canal. And um, London is beautiful today. It's a really amazing day. Thank you for sticking by. Watch out for the next episode. Yeah.